everybody, it's Melanie, and today in my Fall Favorites Makeup Series, I'm sharing with you my top five single fall eyeshadows. This might be silly after I just did like the palettes yesterday, but there are some shades that I just don't have in any of my palettes that like I think are really unique and really beautiful for fall, so I wanted to share them with you guys. So. Um, if you have missed any of my other videos in this series, I will of course list them down below for you and I will, if these products are available, obviously link them for you. So let's jump right in because I don't think this has to be a long video at all. Okay, first, this is an all-time favorite for me and um, I'm sad because once I run out of what I have. <laughs> I won't be able to repurchase it because MAC is not cruelty free. But MAC's Satin Taupe, which is a frost formula, has been a favorite of mine forever. Not only year round, but especially in the fall. It is gorgeous. This color on green eyes is like phenomenal. So that's the swatch right there. It is such a beautiful true taupe it's got purple silver like a cool brown kind of running through it it is absolutely beautiful it is one of my favorite like one eyeshadow type of shadows like i can put um i can put it on my lid blend it out in the crease area a little bit and like I'm good to go like I don't have to put in like another crease color this has just been like such a like staple and workhorse for me for like so many years this is one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows ever again max satin taupe I know a lot of you probably already have it in your collection bust it out use it as one of those single eyeshadows I promise you it's absolutely beautiful you'll be seeing me use this a lot in the fall Okay, another eyeshadow from MAC that I think is incredibly unique is Cranberry. And Cranberry is also a frost, so it's pretty shimmery. Put that on my pointer finger here. So there's Cranberry for you. Beautiful on both blue and green eyes. Beautiful. It is such a pretty Cranberry slightly rusty rusty cranberry <laughs> gross but that's honestly what it looks like to me it's it's so beautiful on the lid um blend this out with like a really nice deep rich brown in the crease um either maybe brune from mac or sable from um the Lorac pro palettes Ooh, to die for to die for smoky cranberry eye love it absolutely love it you'll be seeing this quite a bit on my eyeballs this fall as well. Okay, let's talk some inexpensive eyeshadows. This is the e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow in Burnt Plum. I actually bought this to, to see if it was a dupe for Max Cranberry. It's not. They're definitely different. And here, let me hold them up next to each other. This is definitely, Burnt Plum is more of a plum, but there they are next to each other. But when I was in Target looking at it, I was like, it could be a dupe. It's not a dupe. So let me put that on my ring finger here. And you can see that there's, this is definitely on my ring finger. It's definitely more of a plum. Let's see if I can put them together. How awkward is this? What am I doing? <laughs> so you can see they're very different. But this is also just a really beautiful plum shade um, for green eyes. I love plum with green eyes. Like, that's honestly one of my favorite, like, looks to wear is just anything plummy, on green eyes gorgeous again this is another one that you can blend out with like a rich deep brown and it just looks so pretty I really tend to go overboard with like the smoky eyes in the fall I'm gonna look crazy during a lot of my fall videos because I just I go overboard but it's like the one time a year when I can really like feel like I can get away with it even if I'm just at home doing laundry and dishes <laughs> um, but elves baked eyeshadow in burnt plum is absolutely stunning another one from that baked eyeshadow collection is bark this one is another one of those really pretty just lid shades and this one is interesting because it almost um it has like a 
almost duochrome greenish shift to it. That's right there. It's extremely pigmented. These are very, like, these e.l.f. baked eyeshadows are extremely creamy and pigment pigmented and long wearing. But this one is so unique because it has that little bit of like a greenish like duochrome to it. It looks really pretty again with green eyes. And this is one where um, I just use like a very light, like really light brown in the crease. Um, I find that just this on the lid even, it's just really pretty on its own. Um, just sort of blend it out in the crease just a little bit. But it's so gorgeous, you guys. It's basically like a milk chocolate brown with a slight green duochrome. So there it is again, and there it is in the container. Super, super pretty. I have not seen these at my Target as of late. I'm hoping they're still available potentially on the e.l.f. website, but I found mine originally at Target, so maybe take a look there. Maybe your Target still carries them. I don't know. And then the last one... Where? I'll put it on my thumb. <laughs> um, this one, it, this one's kind of expensive. This is the Ardency Inn in the color rose gold. This is a beautiful, beautiful rose gold. Oh, you guys, this color is stunning. And the formula of these eyeshadows, if you don't have any of the Ardency Inn eyeshadows, rose gold is the one to get because this is just incredibly stunning. I put it on my thumb there. <laughs> um, I don't know that that's the best place to swatch it, but this, this looks like a really like thick solid swatch because it's just, these are so pigmented. They are, they're very buttery, very creamy. And like when you put this on your lid, it looks like a foiled shadow almost because it just oh, it goes on like a dream you guys my friend Stephanie actually grabbed this one for me for my birthday last year and I honestly like I was so thankful because I kept kind of telling her I was like I really kind of want to show you but I don't want to spend the money on it put it on your list for VIB it's worth every penny rose gold from Ardency in I think is like a must-have for like any like jewel toned eye look just popping a little bit is on the center of your lid with really any other color like oh god this with cranberry oh how pretty would these be together oh my gosh gorgeous um yes must must have rose gold from Ardency and especially for the fall months so those are my single eyeshadow picks we've got some really cheap stuff here and some a little bit more expensive and then one couple in the middle <laughs> so anyway um let me know if you guys have any questions down below and let me know what your favorite single eyeshadows are for the fall in case there's anything that I need to get my hands on. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow I will have my lip picks for the fall up for you. Um, so look forward to that. It is a collaboration. If you're wondering what I'm wearing on my lips right now, it's actually Dolly from Buxom. Um, I'll link that down below for you as well. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Um, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.